dear students welcome to my fifth class on module 3 z transforms and difference equations so in this lecture video we'll be discussing the problems based on the z transforms so the first problem is uh, minus 3 power n plus 1 by 3 power n minus 7 second one is uh, 4 into 3 power n plus 2 into minus 1 power n third one is e power a n fourth one is e power minus a n fifth one is e power a t sixth one is e power minus a t plus t seventh one is a power n cos hyperbolic n theta and eighth one is a power n sin hyperbolic n theta ninth one is r power n cos n theta tenth one is r power n sin n theta eleventh problem is cos n theta twelfth one is sin n theta thirteenth is cos n pi by two fourteenth is sin n pi by two fifteenth is cos square n pi by two and sin square n pi by two cos cube n pi by six sin cube n pi by six cos of n pi by 2 plus pi by 4 and sin of n pi by 2 plus pi plus a so now for all these functions i am going to find the z transform with the help of basic z transform formulas so first one is find the z transform of minus 3 power n plus 1 by 3 power n minus 7 the first thing is we will be applying z transform on both the sides and to solve this problem i am going to make use of z transform of one formula that is z by z minus 1 and z transform of a power n formula that is z by z minus a the condition mod z is greater than a so now so first expanding this equation we will be getting z transform of minus 3 power n plus z transform of 1 by 3 whole power n the constant 7 I will take outside into Z transform 1 I will get. So here I am going to replace this Z transform of A power N formula. So in the place of A, I will be replacing minus 3. So we got Z by Z uh, minus of minus 3. And to simplify this, I am going to replace A is equal to 1 by 3 in this formula. So we got Z by Z minus 1 by 3. Minus 7 I will keep as it is. So I am going to use the, uh, this formula for Z transform of 1. So we got this equation. Therefore, z transform of minus 3 power n plus 1 by 3 power n minus 7 will be equal to z by z plus 3 plus 3z by 3z minus 1 minus 7z by z minus 1 is the required solution. So, next is z transform of e power a n. So, we know that z transform of a power n is given by actually what? z by z minus e. So, in the place of uh, a, we have e power a now. So, I will be replacing a is equal to e power a. So, we got z transform of e power a n is equal to z transform of e power a whole power n. So, this will be equal to z by z minus e power a. So, same way like for z transform of e power minus a n also. So, in the same formula, I will be replacing a is equal to e power minus a. So, we got z transform of e power minus a n will be equal to z by z minus e power minus a. So next one is z transform of a power n cos hyperbolic n theta. So here I am going to apply uh, two formulas here. The first one is z transform of a n formula I am going to use that is given by z by z minus a. One more is cos hyperbolic x formula that is e power x plus e power minus x divided by 2. So now I am going to find a z transform of a power n cos hyperbolic n theta. So I will keep z transform of a power n as it is expanding this cos hyperbolic n theta like this that is e power n theta plus e power minus n theta divided by 2. So the constant 1 by 2 I will take outside z transform of a power n into e power n theta plus e power minus n theta taking a, a power n inside the bracket we will be getting 1 by 2 into z transform of a power n e power n theta plus a power n e power minus n theta and by combining this we got 1 by 2 to z transform of a e power theta whole power n uh, plus a e power minus theta whole power n. So, so we got 1 by 2 into z transform of a e power theta whole power n plus z transform of a e power minus theta whole power n. So now to simplify this, I am going to make use of this formula that is z by z minus a formula I am going to use. So what we will be getting 1 by 2 z by z minus a into e power theta plus z by z minus a into e power minus theta. So take the z, z outside. So we got z by 2, 1 by z, uh, 1 by z minus a e power theta plus 1 by z minus a e power minus a theta. Now take the LCM over there. So we got z transform of a power n cos hyperbolic n theta is z by 2, z minus a e power minus theta plus z minus a e, e power theta divided by z square minus a z e power theta minus a z e power minus theta plus a square. So here simplify this we got 2z minus a into e power theta plus e power minus theta divided by z square minus 2z e power theta plus e power minus theta plus a square into z by 2. So I will keep z by 2 as it is. So 2z into this will become 2 times of 
cos hyperbolic theta we got 2a cos hyperbolic theta by z square minus 2az cos hyperbolic theta plus a square so from this i will take two common factor and cancelling with 1 by 2 we got z transform of a power n cos hyperbolic n theta will be equal to z into z minus a cos hyperbolic theta divided by z square minus 2az cos hyperbolic theta plus a square so in the same way we will be solving z transform of a power n sin hyperbolic n theta also so same like a previous proof only here in the place of sin hyperbolic n theta i am going to apply this formula that is sin hyperbolic x is equal to we will be getting e power x minus e power minus x by 2 so, uh, so by 2 so now to expand this one z transform of a power n sin hyperbolic n theta in the place of sin hyperbolic n theta i will be using this formula that is a power n into e power n theta minus e power minus n theta divided by 2 this will be equal to 1 by 2 z transform of a power n e power n theta minus e power minus n theta by taking a power n inside the bracket i will be getting 1 by 2 z transform of a power n e power n theta minus a power n e power minus n theta so on simplifying this further we will be getting what 1 by 2 into z transform of a e power theta whole power n minus a e power theta uh, e power minus theta whole power n so expanding this further we will be getting 1 by 2 into z transform of a e power theta whole power n minus z transform of a e power minus theta whole power n so now here i am going to use z transform of a power n formula that is z by z minus a formula i am going to apply here so what we got 1 by 2 into z by z minus a e power theta minus z by z minus a e power minus theta by taking z common factor we got z by 2 into 1 by z minus a e power theta minus 1 by z minus a e power minus theta so by taking lcm and simplify this uh, equation we got z by 2 into 2a sin hyperbolic theta divided by z square minus 2az cos hyperbolic theta plus a square by taking two common factor we can cancel 1 by 2 so we got z transform of a power n sin hyperbolic n theta will be equal to 2z sin hyperbolic theta divided by z square minus 2az cos hyperbolic theta plus a square is the required solution so next one is z transform of r power n cos n theta and also z transform of r power n sin n theta so here uh, to simplify this one i am going to make use of two formulas that is z transform of a power n it is given by z by z minus a and uh, e power i n theta formula so e power i n theta will be cos n theta plus i sin n theta so now i am going to find uh, z transform of r e power i theta whole power n and i am going to find both the values from this equation only we will see how to find that so now in this formula in the z transform of a power n formula in the place of a i am going to replace r e power i theta so what i will be getting z transform of r e power i theta whole power n will be equal to z by z minus r e power i theta so it will be equal to what z transform of r power n e power i n theta will be equal to z by z minus r e power i theta so this r power n i will keep as it is expanding e power i n theta uh, i n theta as this one that is cos n theta plus i sin n theta so we got z transform of r power n cos n theta plus i into r power n sin n theta by taking r power n inside the bracket so here i am going to expand this e power i theta in the same form only that is cos theta plus i sin theta so we got z by z minus r cos theta plus i sin theta so simplifying this we got z transform of r power n cos n theta plus i r power n sin n theta will be equal to z by z minus r cos theta minus i r sin theta so now grouping all the terms so here z transform of r power n cos n theta plus i z r power n sin n theta so here z by z minus r cos theta minus i r sin theta so now i am going to simplify this so we got z by z minus r cos theta minus i r sin theta so now so into z minus r cos theta plus i r sin theta divided by z minus r cos theta plus i r sin theta so by simplifying this we got z into z minus r cos theta plus i r z sin theta so uh, divided by z minus r cos theta whole square plus r sin theta whole square so now finally we got an equation like z transform of r power n cos n theta plus i z z uh, i into z transform of r power n sin n theta will be equal to z into z minus r cos theta plus i into r z sin theta divided by z square minus 2 z r cos theta plus r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta so this will be equal to z into z minus r cos theta plus i into r z sin theta divided by z square minus 2 z r cos theta plus r square so expanding this further we will be getting z transform of r power n cos n theta 
plus i z r power n sin r theta will be equal to z into z minus r cos theta by z square minus 2 z r cos theta plus r square plus i into r z sin theta divided by z square minus 2 z r cos theta plus r square. So now by comparing the equations, so by, by taking the real part, we got z transform of r power n cos theta is equal to z into z minus r cos theta divided by z square minus 2 z r cos theta plus r square and z transform of r power n sin theta will be equal to r z sin theta divided by z square minus 2 z r cos theta plus r square is the required solution. So next one is z transform of cos n theta. So same thing here also I am going to use the formula of z transform of a power n cos n theta. So th this is given by z into z minus a cos theta divided by z square minus 2 a z cos theta plus a square. So now to find cos n theta I am going to replace a is equal to 1 in this equation. So we will be getting z transform of cos n theta is equal to z into z minus cos theta divided by z square minus 2 z cos theta plus 1. Similarly, z transform of sin n theta. So to find this one, I am going to use a formula of z transform of a power n sin n theta. This is given by a z sin theta divided by z square minus 2 a z cos theta plus a square. So replace a is equal to 1 in this equation. We will be getting z transform of sin n theta is equal to z sin theta divided by z square minus 2 z cos theta plus 1. So next one is z transform of cos n pi by 2. So same thing here also the same uh, z transform of a power n cos n theta formula I am going to use. So here I will be replacing a is equal to 1 and uh, uh, and theta as pi by 2 in the same equation here. So I will be getting if I replace a is equal to 1 and the angle is pi by 2 in this equation. I will be getting what z transform of cos n pi by 2. So this will be z ma, as uh, yeah, small z into z minus cos pi by 2 divided by z square minus 2 z cos pi by 2 plus 1. So, this will be equal to z square by z square plus 1 because cos pi by 2 is equal to 0. So, next one is z transform of sin n pi by 2. So, here to simplify this, the formula is z transform of a power n sin n theta is equal to 2 a z sin theta divided by z square minus 2 a z cos theta plus a square I am going to use. So here also I am going to replace a is equal to 1 and the angle is pi by 2 in this equation. So we got z transform of sin n pi by 2 is equal to z sin pi by 2 divided by z square minus 2 z cos pi by 2 plus 1 and cos pi by 2 is 0 and sin pi by 2 is 1. So we got z by z square plus 1 is the required solution. So next one is z transform of uh, cos square n pi by 2. So to solve this one I am going to make use of cos square theta formula cos square theta is given by 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2. So now I am going to find cos square n pi by 2. So I am going to use this formula here that is 1 plus cos 2 n pi by 2 divided by 2. So it will become 1 plus cos n pi by 2. So cos n pi is minus 1 power n. I got 1 plus minus 1 power n by 2. So now for this one I am going to apply z transform on both the sides. So z transform of cos square n pi by 2 will be equal to z transform of 1 plus minus 1 power n by z. So the constant 1 by 2 I will take outside. So it is z transform of 1 plus minus 1 power n we can write. So expanding this equation we got 1 by 2 into z transform of 1 plus z transform of minus 1 power n. So we got 1 by 2 into z by z minus 1 plus z by z plus 1. So by taking LCM so we can write z by 2 into uh, 1 by z minus 1 plus 1 by z plus 1. So take LCM over here. So we got z by 2 into z plus 1 plus z minus 1 divided by z square minus 1. So z by 2 into we got 2 z by z square minus 1. So here this 2 2 gets cancelled. We got z transform of cos square n pi by 2 is equal to z square minus by z square minus 1. So in the same way uh, we will be finding the z transform of sin, sin cube n pi by 6. So to find this I am going to use sin cube theta formula. So sin cube theta is 1 by 4 3 sin theta minus sin 3 theta. So now uh, z transform of sin n theta will be uh, z sin theta divided by z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. So both the formulas I am going to apply here. So first I am going to replace this angle theta as n pi by 6 in this equation. So we got sin cube n pi by 6 is 1 by 3 3 sin n pi by 6 minus sin 3 n, uh, n pi by 6. So by simplifying this we got uh, sin cube n pi by 6 is equal to 3 by 4 sin n pi by 6 minus 1 by 4 sin n pi by 6. So applying now z transform on both the sides we got z transform of sin cube n pi by 6 is equal to 3 by 4 into z transform of sin n pi by 6 minus 1 by 4 into z transform of sin n pi by 2. So now to simplify this I am going to use 
this formula uh, so we got 3 by 4 psi, uh, z transform of sin pi by 6 divided by z square minus 2 z cos pi by 6 plus 1 minus 1 by 4 divided into z by z square plus 1 so on simplifying this so we got 3 by 4 z into 1 by 2 divided by z square minus 2 z root 3 by 2 plus 1 minus 1 by 4 z by z square plus 1 this is because of sin pi by 6 is 1 by 2 and cos is root 3 by 2 so on simplifying this further we got z transform of sin cube n pi by 6 is equal to 3 by 8 z, z divided by z square minus root 3 z plus 1 minus 1 by 4 z by z square plus 1 is the required solution so next one is z transform of cos n pi by 2 plus pi by 4 so here i am going to uh, uh, use two formulas here the, uh, the transform of cos n pi by 2 formula that is given by z square by z square plus 1 and z transform of sin n pi by 2 formula that is z by uh, z square plus 1 so now to expand cos n pi by 2 plus pi by 4 i am going to use cos of a plus b formula so by expanding cos of a plus b we got cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so now for this equation i am going to apply z transform so what we will be getting z transform of cos n pi by 2 plus pi by 4 will be 1 by root 2 into z transform of cos n pi by 2 minus sin n pi by 2 this, uh, this 1 by root 2 because of uh, cos of from these two values to become a 1 by root 2 so we got uh, so this equation now so expanding this this one we got 1 by root 2 into z transform of cos n pi by 2 minus z transform of sin n pi by 2 so this is this is actually what z square by z square plus 1 minus z by z square plus 1 by taking LCM and simplifying this we got z transform of cos n pi by 2 plus pi by 4 will be equal to z into z minus 1 divided by root 2 into z square plus 1 is the required solution. So next problem is find the z transform of the following equations. First one is 1 by n plus 1. Second one is n minus 2 by n into n plus 1. Third one is 1 by n plus 1 n plus 2. Fourth one is 2n plus 3 divided by n plus 1 n plus 2 and fifth one is 2 n square plus 4 n plus 3 divided by n n plus 1 n plus 2 so now we will see how to solve this problem so first one is i am going to find a z transform of 1 by n into n plus 1 so to solve this one i am going to expand the equation 1 by n n plus 1 in terms of partial fractions method so i am taking 1 by n n plus 1 as a by n plus b by n plus 1 so take lcm over here we got 1 is equal to a into n plus 1 plus b into n so d plus n is equal to 0 to find the value of a so we got 1 is equal to a plus 0 it implies a is equal to 1 next d plus n is equal to minus 1 we got b is equal to minus 1 so now replace this a and b value over here so we got 1 by n into n plus 1 is equal to 1 by n minus 1 by n plus 1 now applying z transform on both the sides we got z transform of 1 by n n plus 1 is equal to z transform of 1 by n minus z transform of 1 by n plus 1 so this is nothing but actually what log of z by z minus 1 this is uh, z into log of z by z minus 1 by simplifying this we got z transform of 1 by n into n plus 1 is equal to uh, 1 minus z into log of z by z minus 1 next problem uh, find a z transform of 2n plus 3 by n plus 1 into n plus 2 so same thing here also first i'll be expanding this 2n plus 3 by n plus 1 n plus 2 by using partial fractions method so we got the equation like 2n plus 3 by n plus 1 n plus 2 is equal to a by n plus 1 plus b by n plus 2 so take lcm here so now to find a we have to make b 0 to find b we have to make a 0 so i'll be replacing a n is equal to minus 1 in this equation so we got a is equal to 1 and replace n is equal to minus 2 here so we'll be getting b is equal to 1 so now replace this a and b value in this equation so we got uh, 2n plus 3 by n plus 1 n plus 2 is equal to 1 by n plus 1 plus 1 by n plus 2 so applying z transforms now we got z transform of fn is equal to z transform of 1 by n plus 1 plus z transform of 1 by n plus 2 this is nothing but z into log of z by z minus 1 plus z square into log of z by z minus 1 minus z so on simplifying this further we will be getting the equation like z transform of 2n plus 3 by n plus 1 n plus 2 will be equal to z transform of z plus 1 into log of z by z minus 1 minus z is the required solution thank you